The evidence is clear. I don't have nowhere to go. Our planet is heading toward climate disaster. And the politicians with power to stop it aren't doing anything about it. Icy road conditions knocking out power for tens of thousands of customers. Humanity has officially entered Code Red. As climate change gets worse, people are going to have to leave their homes. It's not a pretty picture. With our future and our children's future at stake, why won't Congress act? Simple. Follow the money. Our elected officials are making millions off the fossil fuel industry. And this includes both climate change deniers. Well, how do you explain it's a, it's a, the statement that you just made is blatantly false. How do you we do know it? the man-made effect is now dominant. And elected officials who admit it's a crisis. Oh my God, please, please help me, please help me. Last year, 28 U.S. senators on both sides of the aisle owned millions in fossil fuel stocks, some investing as much as $12.6 million. It's not just Republicans. It's not just Democrats. Profiting off the destruction of the planet seems to be one of the few things members of both parties agree on. Add in the $452.6 million five oil giants spent lobbying Congress in the past decade alone. And it's no wonder our representatives refuse to take decisive action. And that's just one industry with a stranglehold on our future. Politicians are deeply tied to every industry driving climate disaster. While some members of Congress offer tangible climate solutions, the oil industry's grip on a third of the Senate has made progress difficult. If you want to stop the climate crisis and save our planet, first, you have to end corruption in Congress. Join the movement that's passing powerful anti-corruption and pro-democracy laws nationwide.